Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with um, another freezer and pantry challenge. For those of you that are new to our channel, uh, my husband and I are in the middle of a pantry and freezer challenge. We are expecting a baby here in uh, pretty soon and just trying to, uh, I guess, be a better steward of our money and then just also clear out some space in the freezer and pantry for things that the baby will need. And so um, from my freezer, I'm using these two pie crusts um, that I had and then I also had some sausage and cheddar cheese and uh, turkey french fried onions and so I decided to make quiche and um, we were so hungry I completely forgot to film the plate so um, I, what I have here are the two quiche that I made the recipe that I use actually makes two quiche and I did record a video on this a while back ago and I'll try to link it below but the um, the recipe is pretty simple and you can add whatever fillings you'd like. So for this particular um, quiche, I just used breakfast sausage. I used the turkey french fried onions, as I mentioned, and the cheddar cheese. And so usually what I do is we eat one, then I freeze one, but we may end up probably eating both of these um, quiche, so I'll just leave them in the freezer. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I decided to try a new recipe today. I was trying to use up stuff that I already have in my freezer and pantry. And I got this, this recipe is actually called uh, low carb chicken taco soup. And I will make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. But um, it was a really simple recipe. It called for boneless, uh, skinless chicken breast but I used chicken thighs and it also called for rotel, it called for cream cheese, chicken broth, and seasoning. And so, um, as you can see, my cream cheese curdled. I have no idea what happened because I have made crock pot, you know, dishes with cream cheese before. Anybody know why my cream cheese may have curdled? Um, and so the recipe calls for you to dump everything into the crock pot at the beginning and then at the end of the cooking time You're just supposed to um, just stir it up and shred the chicken. So here it is in the crock pot I mean it tastes okay, but it doesn't look appetizing and like I said all the cream cheese curdled so I'm a little disappointed about that especially when you're you know, using up ingredients and the recipe doesn't turn out, you know, like you wanted it to, but I know it happens. Cooking fails happen all the time. But anyway, I think I'll try it again. I think next time what I'll do is I'll just add the cream cheese at the end um, of the recipe instead of at the beginning. But anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. I added on some shredded cheese as you see here. Howard's gonna have his with some avocado. And then I'm gonna add some um, Fritos to mine too. I'm gonna make it like a chicken tortilla soup. So anyway, this is for dinner. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so Howard and I are eating out tonight at Cheddar's and he got the salmon over a rice pilaf and then he got some corn and broccoli casserole. And then for me, I got the fried shrimp, green beans, and then a loaded baked potato with bacon, sour cream, and cheese. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so tonight is a chicken noodle soup night for me. Howard made some soup for me. I, <clears throat> excuse me, just not feeling that well. Um, I feel like the symptoms of the first trimester have come back with a vengeance, the third trimester. So just like a general feeling of just like, um, it's not well, I can't explain it. Like my stomach feels a little queasy and I just feel like I just want some clear broth. So um, I'm having this noodle soup and Howard is going to have the crock pot low carb taco chicken soup. I just don't feel like I can eat anything creamy right now. So this is what's for dinner tonight and I'll see you guys next time.
Hey guys, so it is breakfast for dinner tonight again. Howard made breakfast for us. I just didn't feel up to cooking. And so we are having some cheesy scrambled eggs. And so I have black pepper in mine. And then we also are also having some leftover breakfast sausage. And then we are finishing up these King's Hawaiian um, hamburger rolls that we had in the fridge. So we wanted to go ahead and use those up before they went bad. So a quick and easy dinner tonight, breakfast for dinner, and we will see you guys next time.